uh, okay let us get into the mathematics of this now okay let's let's uh, define all the notations and formulate the linear programming problem now okay so what is the logic here the, the this linear programming problem is trying to understand individual differences in preference right with a set of options right uh, now uh, what 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 have we just now defined each product option each product option is defined as a point in a multi attribute space now we have explained the process on a two dimensional data on a two attribute data right imagine this problem where the consumer actually has to evaluate product on seven different dimensions right nine different dimensions so uh, uh, anything right uh, uh, even for potato chips anything uh, what are the ingredients uh, 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 what what are the what what are the flavors uh, what is the brand uh, what are the price right price is something that is always an in, in, uh, important attribute so the problem is never going to be on a simple two dimension two attribute uh, uh, space the problem is going to be on multi attribute space which uh, is going to be difficult to imagine geometrically therefore we gave an example of uh, only two at dimensions two attributes but the idea is still the same uh, every product option is going to be defined as a point in multi attribute space now what we are going to do is uh, so uh, uh, so uh, okay uh, so here the subject means consumer uh, each consumer uh, has a different ideal point has a different ideal point a different pref most preferred location for this particular consumer we are trying to find out what is their ideal point right so what do we do we give them two options we give them two options and the customer is supposed to prefer an option which is closer to their ideal point which is what i was explaining d1 less than d2 right or or d1 or d2 less than d1 d1 less than d3 right so obviously they are going to give me choices so that they give me a uh, option which is closer to their ideal point as a preferred location now we also have to consider the fact that consumer sometimes may not even be uh, completely rational meaning that sometimes we may find out later on that some of their preferences were not correct with their ideal point in mind with their weights in mind sometimes the consumer may have fumbled because imagine consumer is doing all these mental calculations right when they are giving us preferences and imagine the the the, the cognitive load on the consumer is not uh, not trivial Cons uh, the cognitive load is quite high because they are evaluating this product on multiple attributes they are evaluating multiple options pair wise options of course but multiple options being compared so sometimes there is a possibility there is a possibility that when they tell me that they prefer 1 over 3 if they prefer 1 over 3 that may not always be true so sometimes their uh, their their thing may be violated there may be violated right so we have to account for that also so uh, okay uh, as, as a measure of distance we are going to either use uh, euclidean uh, measure or weighted euclidean measure so, so we have already decided that if we want to gather the weights assigned to each attributes we are going to go with weighted euclidean measure okay so let us get into the mathematical notation uh, the data that we are going to use is the same data that we had described in the previous session uh, it has four attributes uh, uh, sorry four uh, options on two attributes uh, if you can uh, recall the data is the same right uh, so there are four uh, variants that the consumer is comparing uh, each variant is described on two attributes and these are the values of each variant on each of the attribute so product 2 has an attribute one score of 10 and an attribute 2 score of 8 that what it means and how is the consumer preferences data collected consumer preferences data is collected as pair wise comparisons pair wise preferences data right and uh, since there are uh, four uh, product variants uh, there are going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 pair wise options and i am collecting data on each of the pair wise options right each of the pair wise comparisons uh So how is this going to be? This is going to be four into three divided by two, which is why I got six options, right? Uh, so this is uh, n into n minus one, uh, n is four, right? Uh, divided by two, which is six. So I got six options, and I collected data on all the six uh, pairwise comparisons from the from the consumer. Now let us uh, let us look at the mathematical notation. 
so let us say that uh, the options that uh, the uh, uh, options provided to the consumer uh, is denoted by capital j uh, set j where j goes from 1 to n right uh, 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 so for the n options uh, for the n options uh, each uh, is denoted on a uh, p dimensions uh, uh, so p is the set of dimensions which goes all the way from 1 2 3 4 5 6 t up to t so the problem is formulated more generically right using mathematical notations we will translate that to our problem uh, in the next slide so uh, here we are saying that consumer is evaluating n options each option is described on a t dimensional space right uh, uh, for uh, uh, for each option for each option uh, we have coordinates for each option on t dimensions so the jth option uh, uh, is on a t dimensional space and the location uh, and the coordinates are uh, this which is what we described as y11 y12 y13 all the way to y1t for the first option for the first option where j denotes the option and p denotes the attribute dimension right p denotes the attribute dimension so attribute number one value attribute number two value attribute number three value attribute number th value for the first option so the first subscript denotes the option number right so these are pre-specified locations i know this i know this i know this so these are my y values these are my y j p value so what is this value here this value here is the y y y for product option number three attribute number two so this is y32 this is y31 product option number 3 attribute number 1 right so we have this data these are these are pre specified right these are pre specified i know the location of each of these points on the t dimensional space and the ideal point ideal point is denoted by this uh, x xp right where p is uh, in this set so i am going to have x1 as uh, x as x1 and x2 so the ideal point on the attribute one dimension and on attribute two dimension. This is what I wish to find out. Now you have to, we have to uh, pay. Uh, we have to allow this uh, uh, coordinates to be either positive or negative or zero. Right? Anything is possible. What does that mean? Uh, even if the XP value is zero, that doesn't mean that uh, consumer does not want that attribute. It only means that consumer wants that attribute at a value of zero. Now, whatever is the codification for zero, okay, whatever is the codification for zero. So, this is what we are trying to do. Now, let us translate that uh, to the to the problem uh, data. We have data for two uh, attributes, four variants, right, and we have choice, uh, pairwise choices. So, what is n for us? Uh, n is actually four for us. What is t? t is two for us. So, let us do that. So, for us, n is four. So, there are four product variants. 1, 2, 3 and 4, right, uh, there are uh, two dimensions, so t is actually 2, so p is 1 and 2 and therefore uh, uh, we are going to have uh, uh, specified locations on two dimensions for each of the options, so yj1 and yj2, right, uh, so uh, y1 uh, will have y11 and y12, y2 uh, essentially is going to give us y21 and y22, so uh, for each of the four options I have their coordinates. Right. These are the two dimensional coordinates and what I wish to find out, I wish to find out the ideal point for this consumer as x1 and x2. Okay. Now the, the, the distance calculation, right, uh, going back to the geometric uh, interpretation and now I, let us calculate the distance location. As we said, generally Generally, we are going to either use uh, Euclidean measure or weighted Euclidean measure, but we will go with Euclidean measure and you know the famous uh, Euclidean formula for calculating distances. So, let us specify that just for the sake of completeness. <coughs> 